two Christmases have special memories for me. The first one was in 1963 when I got engaged to my hus future husband. And then three years later, a few days before Christmas, the birth of our first daughter. These were times when I really remember a special time. Going back to when we were children, my sister and I, we would have quite quiet Christmases. We, although they had extended family, we didn't tend to see them at Christmas. We just uh, were on our own with my mum's mum and my dad's mum, the six of us, and we would have our chicken dinner and our Christmas pudding, which would come in lit with a dose of brandy. And then we would watch the Queen's speech and then just play ball games or charades or something together. And it was just a, a close family time together, which we really enjoyed. When I got to about the age of 11, we moved away and the first thing I wanted to do was to, to go to church again, but my sister didn't want to come with me, so I was very brave and went along and talked to the vicar and uh, joined the Bible class. At the age of 16, we moved again, and again, none of the rest of the family would come with me, but I went along to the local church, and that was where I met my husband-to-be. Um, he was one of the choirmen. So church and singing was a big part of our journey through life, really. Every Sunday he was involved in both services and at special festivals like Christmas and Easter, the choir would, would sing. Being in church was part of our life, uh, the whole of our married life. But after we got married and we had our first daughter, the following summer, the church put on a, a mission all through that week, they were talking about personal commitment. Now, we'd been part of the church for years, but it had never been told us about making a personal relationship with God or the fact that God wanted a personal relationship with us. But at the end of the week, Jim had made that personal commitment and a few weeks later, I did the same. And it was just amazing to see that um, God who created the universe and and everything in it wanted, wanted to know me. And so Christmas became quite different then because we were celebrating the birth of our saviour. Being older now and on my own, it's much easier to reflect on what Christmas is really about. And as we start this Advent time, I'm just glad that I can walk through the weeks of Advent and we will have the Advent crown at church and we will light the candles. Each candle has a meaning. The first one is hope and then it's faith and then it's joy then it's peace. And the one on Christmas morning, the white candle in the centre is about light and that's Jesus being the light of the world. And I wish you now the joy, the peace, the love of Christmas and that you will know, come to know Jesus too in a special way that you will, this Christmas, think about that baby born that day. He came, Emmanuel, which means God with us, and he came to be with each one of us.